All right, we're going to create an image now, and I'm using uh, the aviary tools. Uh, I've got an aviary education account, which is free, but you can also just go to aviary.com, and if you scroll down, you'll see all the tools are available here. So I'm just using image editor, but from education. So I'm going to do a uh, new creation, create images, and it's going to launch uh, the image editor, and I'm going to do an image from scratch. And the important thing here is you want to make sure that the background is set to transparent. Um, that's especially important when you're creating sprites um, for scratch. And you can tell it's transparent uh, background because you've got these grayed out uh, squares. And we can um, make the image bigger or smaller by uh, using that bar. Here's the color selection tool. So I'll start with the different color there. Um, we've got paint brushes here, lots of different um, styles of paint brushes um, to give you different effects and you can uh, also change effects down here. And I'm actually going to use um, the selection tool uh, to help as a guide because I want to make a firework type effect um, in Scratch. So I'm going to create multiple what are called costumes. Um, so let's go back to, let's see what I, well, I'll use that brush. Um, and the thing about the selection is it only uh, lets you paint in the area. Oops, I don't like that one. I'm going to control Z if I want to undo something or command Z. Okay, and it's only letting me, so I'm going to create another circle outside. There we go. And this time, let's create a different uh, color. And maybe do this. And I'm, um, this time, I'm going to oh, maybe make our brush just a tiny bit bigger. 25. And this time, I'm going to just kind of use it as a stamp around the edges. Again, it won't let me. It won't let me do anything outside my selection tool. Now, the other thing I could do here is um, create a different layer, a new layer, every time I'm adding um, to my image here. But I don't want to add too much now because I want to build on it with my costumes. So at this point, I'm going to um, export this image, and that's going to allow me to save it on my hard drive. Uh, you want to make sure you save it as a PNG file. Um, that way it's going to keep your transparent background. So we'll go ahead and generate this first image. And let's just call it Firework 1. Okay, and now um, I can build onto it uh, as I'm building my costume here. Save that about right. And go back. Let's get a different color. Okay. A different brush effects. This one. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. And now I can export this image. It's another, again, same as a PNG. And I want to call it Firework 2. Um, and you just, as many costumes as you want to create, you create that number of images.